What's up everybody? I'm Nars filling in for Akeem and on today's fix of entertainment news, new details surfaced about a Grand Theft Auto movie that almost happened back in 2001. Chris Evans Marvel co-stars are roasting him for being voted sexiest man alive. And former DC Films head Walter Hamada has been hired by Paramount to make their movies more horrible. Literally. I, I can't even joke about this. But let's get into it. <laughs> Sometime in the early 2000s, plans to develop a feature film based on the hit Grand Theft Auto series were briefly considered before ultimately getting shut down by Rockstar co-founders Sam and Dan Hauser. This news comes by way of games industry veteran Kirk Ewing, a friend of the Hausers, who told the story on the BBC podcast Bugsy Malone's Grandest Game. Allegedly, a Hollywood producer who Ewing didn't name approached the GTA creators offering $5 million for the movie rights. The pitch? A feature film, presumably live action, directed by the late, great Tony Scott and starring none other than the real Slim Shady himself, Eminem. Ewing explains that he and Sam Hauser had discussed the idea of a feature film shortly after the launch of GTA 3 in 2001, but by the time this deal materialized, the Hausers had realized they were sitting on a media franchise bigger than any movie going on at the time. The idea of a Grand Theft Auto movie starring Eminem feels like a perfect time capsule of 2001 pop culture. GTA 3 and Eminem were both topping the sale charts in their respective mediums, and the rapper was about to make his big screen debut in 8 Mile. Tony Scott's previous hits included Top Gun and Days of Thunder, and he was riding high on the success of Enemy of the State. It's hard to say if a GTA movie would have worked, but considering Hollywood's track record for video game adaptations and the fact that GTA 5 would go on to be one of the most profitable pieces of entertainment media in human history, it's safe to say the Housers made the right call. Still, Eminem as Claude, I can see it. What about you? And hey, even if a GTA movie is a terrible idea, who's your pick to star and direct? Sound off in the comments. In addition to holding the coveted title of America's Ass, Captain America star Chris Evans was recently crowned People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, and the rest of Earth's Mightiest Heroes wasted no time in mocking him relentlessly. In an interview with Variety, Thor star Chris Hemsworth revealed that he and his MCU co-stars assembled in their Avengers group chat, which consists of the stars of the original 2012 film, where they joined forces to roast Evans for his awkward pose on the cover of People magazine. In Hemsworth's words, it very quickly was like, what are you doing with your hands back there? Robert Downey Jr. said, he's being arrested. I said it was a beautiful mugshot. Then Jeremy Renner said a series of things which we won't repeat. Hemsworth himself had previously been crowned Sexiest Man Alive back in 2014, and he was happy to pass the torch to Evans, admitting that he's indeed a sexy man. Meanwhile, in the realm of superhero adjacent goings-on, former DC Films executive Walter Hamada has already been scooped up by Paramount to oversee a corner of its movie production. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Hamada, who only parted ways with DC a few weeks ago, will be tasked with releasing several mid-budget horror films a year in theaters and on streaming. This might seem out of left field, but prior to taking over DC, Hamada oversaw multiple horror projects for New Line, including The Conjuring. Paramount recently had a massive success with Smile, which grossed over $200 million globally on a $17 million budget. Personally, I'm hoping that these projects are weird, unique standalone horror movies and not like another cinematic universe. We've had enough of those. Please spare us. That's your entertainment fix for November 16th, 2022. If you haven't yet, go check our coverage of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, including Dominique Thorne's thoughts on what's next for Ironheart in the MCU. As always, make sure you're following IGN wherever you like to get your news. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.